Have you ever felt stuck in life? Like you're just going through the motions day after day? What if I told you there's a way to break free from that feeling and tap into a whole new level of energy and happiness? That's right. Today we're diving into the world of fifth dimensional habits, powerful practices that can lift your spirits and change your life in ways you never thought possible. And we're not just talking about any old habits. We're exploring the groundbreaking ideas of Dr. Joe Dispenza, a man who's helped countless people transform their lives through the power of the mind and energy. Get ready to discover secrets that can boost your mood and open doors to a brighter, more vibrant way of living. These aren't just normal habits. They're fifth dimensional habits that can raise your vibration instantly. Sounds exciting, right? Well, buckle up, because we're about to embark on a journey that could change everything for you. Now, you might be wondering, what on earth is the fifth dimension? Don't worry. It's not as complicated as it sounds. Think of it this way. We live in a world with three dimensions of space, up, down, left, right, forward, backward, and one dimension of time. That's our normal, everyday reality. But what if there was more? What if we could tap into a higher level of existence? That's where the fifth dimension comes in. It's like a higher plane of consciousness, a place where we're not bound by the usual limits of time and space. In the fifth dimension, we're more connected to everything around us. We're more aware, more in tune with ourselves and the world. It's a state where we can see beyond our day-to-day -day problems and tap into a deeper sense of peace and possibility. Now you might be thinking, that sounds great, but what does it have to do with me? Well, here's the exciting part. We don't have to physically go anywhere to experience the fifth dimension. It's all about shifting our mindset and energy. When we raise our vibration, that's the energy we give off we can start to tap into this higher state of being. Living in a fifth dimensional way is all about expanding our awareness. It's about looking beyond the surface of things and connecting with the deeper energy that flows through everything. When we do this, we start to see life in a whole new way. Problems that used to stress us out don't seem so big anymore. We feel more connected to others and to the world around us. We start to understand that we're part of something much bigger than ourselves. But how is this different from our normal, everyday world? Well, in our usual 3D reality, we often get caught up in the small stuff. We worry about things we can't control. We get stressed about the past or anxious about the future. We might feel separate from others or stuck in negative patterns. In contrast, living with a fifth dimensional mindset helps us rise above all that. We start to see the bigger picture. We learn to live more in the present moment, enjoying what's happening right now instead of always wishing things were different. We feel more connected to others and to the world around us. We start to understand that our thoughts and feelings have a real impact on our lives and the lives of those around us. This shift in perspective can have a huge impact on our spiritual growth. When we tap into fifth dimensional energy, we're opening ourselves up to new possibilities. We become more aware of our own inner wisdom. We start to trust our intuition more. We might even start to experience moments of real peace and joy that seem to come from nowhere. The best part? You don't need any special skills or knowledge to start experiencing this. The fifth dimensional habits we're going to talk about are simple practices that anyone can do. 
They're designed to help you raise your vibration, to lift your energy and mood, so you can start tapping into this higher state of being. By practicing these habits, you'll be taking steps towards a more fulfilling, peaceful, and joyful life. You'll be opening yourself up to new possibilities and a deeper understanding of yourself and the world around you. It's like upgrading your life's operating system. Everything just works better when you're living in tune with these higher energies. So, are you ready to learn how to tap into this amazing energy? Are you ready to start living in a way that brings more joy, peace, and fulfillment into your life? Great! Let's dive deeper and explore how we can make this happen. Before we jump into the habits that can change your life, let's talk about the man behind these ideas, Dr. Joe Dispenza. Now, you might be wondering, who is this guy and why should I listen to him? Well, let me tell you, Joe Dispenza isn't just another self-help guru. He's a scientist, a researcher, and a teacher who's dedicated his life to understanding how our minds and bodies work together. Joe's story is pretty interesting. He started out as a chiropractor, helping people with their physical health. But then something happened that changed his life forever. He was in a bad accident that left him with a serious back injury. Doctors told him he needed surgery, but Joe had other ideas. He decided to use the power of his mind to heal his body. And you know what? It worked. Joe was able to heal himself without surgery just by using focused meditation and visualization. This experience sparked his curiosity. He wanted to know more about how our thoughts and feelings can affect our physical health and our lives. So, Joe dove into studying neuroscience, epigenetics, and quantum physics. Now don't worry if those words sound complicated. Joe has a gift for explaining complex ideas in ways that anyone can understand. He spent years researching how our brains work and how we can use that knowledge to improve our lives. But Joe isn't just about theory. He's all about practical application. He's taken what he's learned and turned it into workshops and programs that have helped thousands of people around the world. People have used his methods to overcome illnesses, break bad habits, and create positive changes in their lives. One of the things that makes Joe's work so powerful is that he combines science with spirituality. He shows us that there's no real separation between our minds, our bodies, and the world around us. Everything is connected. And when we understand this connection, we can start to make real changes in our lives. Joe's ideas about the brain and energy are particularly interesting. He talks about how our thoughts and feelings create patterns in our brains. These patterns can either keep us stuck in old habits or help us create new, better ways of living. By changing our thoughts and focusing our energy, we can actually reshape our brains and our lives. This is where the idea of raising our vibration comes in. Joe teaches that everything in the universe is energy, vibrating at different frequencies. Our thoughts and feelings have their own vibrations, too. When we learn to raise our vibration, to think and feel in more positive ways, we start to attract more positive experiences into our lives. But Joe's not just telling us to think positive and hope for the best. He gives us specific techniques, backed by science, that we can use to change our brain patterns and raise our energy. These are the fifth dimensional habits we're going to explore in this video. What's really cool about Joe's work is that it's not just based on his own ideas. 
He's conducted studies and brain scans that show how these practices can create real, measurable changes in our brains and bodies. He's seen people overcome chronic illnesses, break free from depression, and achieve things they never thought possible. Joe's message is ultimately one of hope and empowerment. He shows us that we're not stuck with the life we have. We have the power to change our brains, our bodies, and our lives. We don't have to be victims of our circumstances or our past. We can become the creators of our future. That's why Joe's ideas matter. They're not just feel-good theories. They're practical tools that can help us live happier, healthier, more fulfilling lives. They can help us tap into that fifth dimensional energy we talked about earlier, that higher state of being where we feel more connected, more aware, and more alive. So as we dive into these fifth dimensional habits, remember that they're not just random ideas. They're based on years of research and real world results. They're tools that have helped thousands of people change their lives for the better. And now you have the chance to try them for yourself. Are you excited to learn these powerful techniques? Are you ready to start raising your vibration and tapping into new levels of energy and possibility? Great! Let's dive in and explore the first of our fifth dimensional habits. Get ready to transform your life in ways you never thought possible. What are vibrations? Now that we know a bit about Joe Dispenza and the fifth dimension, let's talk about something really important, vibrations. Don't worry, we're not going to get all scientific here. We're going to keep it simple and easy to understand. So what are vibrations? Well, think of them like the energy that everything gives off. It's like how a guitar string vibrates to make music. But it's not just objects that vibrate. We do, too. Our bodies, our thoughts, our feelings, they all have their own kind of vibration or energy. You know how sometimes you can just feel when someone's in a bad mood, even before they say anything? or how some places just feel good to be in. That's all about vibrations. We're picking up on the energy that people and places are giving off. Now here's where it gets really interesting. Our vibrations, the energy we give off, can affect how we feel and even how healthy we are. When we have high vibrations, we tend to feel good. We're happier, more energetic, and things just seem to go our way. It's like we're in tune with the world around us. On the other hand, when our vibrations are low, we might feel down, tired, or stuck. Things might not seem to go right, and we might find ourselves getting sick more often. It's like we're out of tune with ourselves in the world. But here's the good news. We can change our vibrations. We're not stuck with low energy if that's what we're feeling. By doing certain things, like the fifth dimensional habits we're going to talk about, we can raise our vibrations. We can lift our energy and start feeling better. Raising our vibrations isn't just about feeling good, though that's a big part of it. When we raise our vibrations, we start to connect more with that fifth dimensional energy we talked about earlier. We become more aware, more in tune with ourselves and the world around us. We might find that we're more creative, that we have more insights, or that we're better at solving problems. High vibrations can even affect our health. When our energy is high, our bodies work better. We might find that we have more energy, that we get sick less often, or that we recover from illness more quickly. It's like our whole system is working in harmony. So how do we know if our vibrations are high or low? Well, it's all about how we feel. 
When our vibrations are high, we tend to feel things like joy and happiness, love and compassion, peace and calm, excitement and enthusiasm, gratitude, anger or frustration, sadness or depression, fear or anxiety, guilt or shame, apathy or boredom. The good news is, no matter how we're feeling right now, we can always choose to raise our vibrations. It might take a bit of practice, but with the right habits, we can lift our energy and start feeling better. That's what the fifth dimensional habits are all about. They're tools we can use to raise our vibrations, to lift our energy and connect with that higher state of being. By practicing these habits, we can start to feel better, think more clearly, and live more in tune with the world around us. So, are you ready to start raising your vibrations? Great! Let's dive into our first fifth dimensional habit and see how we can start lifting our energy right away. All right, let's talk about our first fifth dimensional habit, mindful breathing. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Breathing? Really? I do that all the time. And you're right. We all breathe without thinking about it. But mindful breathing is different. It's about paying attention to our breath in a special way. So what exactly is mindful breathing? It's simple, really. It's just taking some time to focus on your breath to notice how it feels as you breathe in and out, to pay attention to the rhythm of your breathing. It sounds easy, and it is, but it's also incredibly powerful. Why does mindful breathing work to raise our vibrations? Well, there are a few reasons. First, when we focus on our breath, we naturally start to slow down. Our heart rate drops a bit, our muscles relax, and we start to feel calmer. This alone can help lift our mood and energy. But there's more to it than that. When we practice mindful breathing, we're also training our minds to be more present. Instead of worrying about the future or dwelling on the past, we're right here, right now, focused on our breath. This presence is a key part of fifth dimensional living. Mindful breathing also helps us connect with our bodies. In our busy lives, we often ignore what our bodies are telling us. But when we take time to focus on our breath, we start to notice other things too. We might realize we're holding tension in our shoulders or that we're actually thirsty. This awareness can help us take better care of ourselves, which in turn raises our vibrations. Now you might be wondering, how do I actually do mindful breathing? Don't worry, it's not complicated. Here's a simple way to get started. Find a comfortable place to sit or lie down. You don't need to be in any special position. Just make sure you're comfortable. Close your eyes if you want to. This can help you focus, but if you prefer to keep them open, that's fine, too. Take a moment to notice how your body feels. Are you tense anywhere? Try to let that tension go. Now focus your attention on your breath. Notice how it feels as you breathe in and out. Feel the air moving through your nose or mouth. Notice how your chest or belly rises and falls with each breath. You don't need to change your breathing. Just breathe normally and observe it. If your mind starts to wander, and it probably will, that's okay. Just gently bring your attention back to your breath. Try to do this for a few minutes. Even just five minutes can make a difference. That's it. That's all there is to mindful breathing. Simple, right? but don't let its simplicity fool you. This practice can have a powerful effect on your energy and mood. 
as you practice mindful breathing, you might notice some changes. You might feel more relaxed, more centered. Your mind might feel clearer. You might even notice that you feel more energized, even though you've been sitting still. These are all signs that you're raising your vibration. You're connecting with that fifth dimensional energy, becoming more present and aware. And the best part? You can do this anytime, anywhere. Stuck in traffic? Take a few mindful breaths. Feeling stressed at work? A minute of mindful breathing can help you reset. The more you practice mindful breathing, the easier it becomes. You might find yourself naturally taking deeper, more mindful breaths throughout your day. This can help you stay calmer, more focused, and more in tune with yourself and the world around you. So, why not give it a try right now? Take a few minutes to practice mindful breathing. Notice how you feel before and after. You might be surprised at the difference just a few minutes can make. Remember, raising your vibration doesn't have to be complicated. Sometimes it's as simple as taking a deep breath and really paying attention to it. This simple habit can be your first step towards living in a more fifth dimensional way, more connected and aware. Ready to try another powerful habit? Let's move on to our next fifth dimensional practice. Now that we've explored mindful breathing, let's dive into our second fifth dimensional habit, the practice of gratitude. You've probably heard people talk about gratitude before. Maybe you've even kept a gratitude journal. But have you ever thought about gratitude as a way to raise your vibration and connect with higher energies? Well, that's exactly what we're going to explore now. So what exactly is gratitude? Simply put, it's the feeling of being thankful for what we have in our lives. It's about recognizing the good things, big and small, and really appreciating them. Now you might be thinking, that sounds nice. But what does it have to do with fifth dimensional living? Well, as it turns out, quite a lot. When we practice gratitude, we're doing something really powerful. We're shifting our focus from what's wrong in our lives to what's right. And this shift can have a huge impact on our energy and vibration. Think about it. When you're focusing on problems or things you don't have, how do you feel? Probably not great, right? Your energy feels low, heavy. But when you start thinking about things you're grateful for, something changes. You start to feel lighter, happier. Your energy lifts. This is why gratitude is such a powerful tool for raising our vibrations. When we're in a state of gratitude, we're naturally vibrating at a higher frequency. We're more in tune with those fifth dimensional energies we've been talking about. We're more open, more aware, more connected to the world around us. But gratitude does more than just make us feel good in the moment. Regular gratitude practice can actually change the way our brains work. Studies have shown that people who practice gratitude regularly are happier, less stressed, and even healthier. It's like we're training our brains to focus on the positive to see the good in our lives and in the world around us. So, how do we practice gratitude in a way that raises our vibrations? Here are some simple ways to get started. Start your day with gratitude. Before you even get out of bed, think of three things you're grateful for. They don't have to be big things. Maybe you're grateful for your comfortable bed, or for the birds singing outside your window, or for the cup of coffee you're about to enjoy. Keep a gratitude journal. At the end of each day, write down three to five things you're grateful for. Again, they don't have to be big things. 
Maybe you're grateful for a kind word from a friend, or for the delicious lunch you had, or for the beautiful sunset you saw. Practice gratitude in the moment. Throughout your day, try to notice things you're grateful for as they happen. Maybe you're stuck in traffic, but instead of getting frustrated, you could be grateful for the extra time to listen to your favorite podcast. Share your gratitude. Tell people in your life what you appreciate about them. Not only does this raise your vibration, but it can lift their energy too. Find gratitude in challenges. This one can be tough, but it's powerful. When you face a difficulty, try to find something to be grateful for in the situation. Maybe you're grateful for the strength you're developing or for the people supporting you through the challenge. Now you might be thinking, but what if I don't feel grateful? What if things in my life are really tough right now? That's a fair question. The truth is, gratitude isn't about ignoring the hard things in life. It's not about pretending everything is perfect. Instead, it's about choosing to focus on the good even when things are difficult. It's about finding the silver lining, no matter how small. And here's the amazing thing. The more you practice gratitude, the easier it becomes. You start to naturally notice more things to be grateful for. Your brain gets better at spotting the positives in your life. And as this happens, you'll likely notice your overall mood and energy improving. You're raising your vibration bit by bit, day by day. Gratitude also helps us connect more deeply with that fifth dimensional energy. When we're grateful, we're more present in the moment. We're more aware of the abundance in our lives. We start to see the interconnectedness of everything around us. All of this helps us tap into those higher energies and live in a more fifth dimensional way. So why not give it a try right now? Take a moment to think of three things you're grateful for. Really feel the gratitude in your body. Notice how it makes you feel. Does your energy shift? Do you feel a bit lighter, a bit happier? Remember, gratitude is like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. So don't worry if it feels a bit awkward at first. Keep practicing, and you'll likely find that gratitude becomes a natural part of your day. And as it does, you'll be raising your vibration and connecting more and more with those fifth dimensional energies. Ready to explore another powerful fifth dimensional habit? Let's move on to our next practice. Third habit, visualization. Now that we've explored mindful breathing and gratitude, let's dive into our third, fifth dimensional habit, visualization. You might have heard of visualization before, maybe in the context of athletes preparing for a big game or people trying to achieve their goals. But visualization is much more than just daydreaming or wishful thinking. It's a powerful tool that can help us connect with fifth dimensional energies and raise our vibration in amazing ways. So, what exactly is visualization? Simply put, it's the practice of creating detailed mental images of what we want to experience or achieve. It's like watching a movie in your mind, but you're the director, the actor, and the audience all at once. When we visualize, we're not just thinking about what we want. We're actually experiencing it in our minds as if it's happening right now. Now, you might be wondering, how does this connect to fifth dimensional living? Well, visualization is all about tapping into the power of our imagination, which is a key aspect of fifth dimensional consciousness. When we visualize, we're stepping out of our current reality 
and into a realm of infinite possibilities. We're connecting with energies and potentials that exist beyond our physical world. Visualization works because our brains don't really distinguish between what we're actually experiencing and what we're vividly imagining. When we visualize something in detail, our brain responds as if it's really happening. This means that through visualization, we can start to create new neural pathways and even change our brain chemistry. We're literally reshaping our minds to align with the reality we want to create. But visualization isn't just about imagining what we want. It's also about feeling it. When we visualize, we want to engage all our senses and really feel the emotions associated with what we're imagining. This emotional component is crucial because it's what helps raise our vibration. When we feel joy, excitement, or peace during our visualization, we're actually experiencing those high vibration states in the present moment. So, how do we practice visualization in a way that connects us to fifth dimensional energies? Here's a simple exercise to get you started. Find a quiet, comfortable place where you won't be disturbed. Sit or lie down in a relaxed position. Take a few deep breaths to center yourself. You might want to start with some mindful breathing to get into a calm, focused state. Think of something you want to experience or achieve. It could be a goal you're working towards, a feeling you want to have more of in your life, or even a vision of the world you want to help create. Now start to create a mental image of this desire as if it's happening right now. Make it as detailed as possible. What do you see? What sounds do you hear? What can you smell or taste? How does your body feel? Most importantly, tune into the emotions. How do you feel in this visualization? Let yourself really experience those positive emotions. Stay with this visualization for a few minutes, really immersing yourself in the experience. When you're ready, slowly bring your awareness back to the present moment. Take a few deep breaths and open your eyes. The key to effective visualization is consistency and detail. The more often you practice and the more vivid and detailed your visualizations are, the more powerful the effect will be. You're essentially training your brain to recognize and move towards the reality you're visualizing. As you practice visualization regularly, you might start to notice some changes. You might feel more optimistic about your goals. You might find yourself naturally taking actions that align with your visualizations. You might even start to notice opportunities or synchronicities that you hadn't seen before. All of these are signs that you're raising your vibration and aligning more closely with fifth dimensional energies. You're expanding your awareness beyond your current reality and opening yourself up to new possibilities. You're becoming a co-creator of your reality, which is a key aspect of fifth dimensional living. Remember, visualization isn't about escaping reality or avoiding the present moment. Instead, it's about using the power of your mind to shape your reality from the inside out. It's about aligning your energy with your desires and opening yourself up to higher possibilities. So why not give it a try? Take a few minutes each day to practice visualization. You might be amazed at how this simple practice can shift your energy and open you up to new experiences and opportunities. Ready to explore our next fifth dimensional habit? Let's move on. Now that we've explored visualization, let's dive into our fourth fifth dimensional habit, positive affirmations. You've probably heard of affirmations before. Maybe you've even tried them. 
but have you ever thought about how they can connect you to higher energies and raise your vibration? That's exactly what we're going to explore now. So, what are affirmations? Simply put, they're positive statements that we repeat to ourselves. They're like little seeds of positivity that we plant in our minds. But affirmations are more than just nice words. When used correctly, they can be powerful tools for transformation. You see, our minds are constantly filled with thoughts. Some of these thoughts are positive, but many of them are negative or limiting. These negative thoughts often run on autopilot, shaping our beliefs about ourselves and the world around us. Affirmations are a way to consciously choose our thoughts and, in doing so, reshape our beliefs and raise our vibration. Now you might be wondering, how do affirmations connect to fifth dimensional living? Well, affirmations are all about using the power of words and thoughts to create change. In the fifth dimension, we understand that our thoughts and words have real power. They're not just abstract concepts, but energies that can shape our reality. When we use positive affirmations, we're actively choosing to align ourselves with higher, more positive energies. But affirmations aren't just about saying nice things to yourself. To really tap into their power and raise your vibration, you need to use them in a specific way. Here are some tips for creating and using powerful fifth dimensional affirmations. Use present tense. Frame your affirmations as if what you're affirming is already true. Instead of saying, I will be confident, say, I am confident. Make them positive. Focus on what you want, not what you don't want. Instead of, I'm not afraid, try, I am courageous. Keep them short and simple. Affirmations should be easy to remember and repeat. Make them personal. Use I statements to make your affirmations more powerful and personal. Include emotion. Try to capture how you want to feel. For example, I am joyfully living my purpose. Believe them. Choose affirmations that you can believe, even if they're a stretch. If an affirmation feels totally unbelievable, it won't be effective. Here are some examples of good affirmations. I am worthy of love and respect. I trust in the wisdom of the universe. I am growing and evolving every day. I radiate positive energy wherever I go. I am connected to the abundance of the universe. Now, how do we use these affirmations to raise our vibration? Here's a simple practice. Choose one or two affirmations that resonate with you. Find a quiet moment, maybe right after your mindful breathing practice. Say your affirmation out loud or in your mind. Repeat it several times. As you say your affirmation, really feel the truth of it. Imagine how you would feel if this affirmation were absolutely true for you right now. If doubts or negative thoughts come up, don't fight them. Just gently return your focus to your affirmation. Practice your affirmations regularly, maybe every morning when you wake up or every night before you go to sleep. As you practice affirmations regularly, you might start to notice some changes. You might find that you're naturally thinking more positively. You might feel more confident or peaceful. You might even start to see evidence of your affirmations coming true in your life. These are all signs that you're raising your vibration and aligning more closely with fifth dimensional energies. You're actively choosing your thoughts and shaping your reality from the inside out. You're becoming more conscious of the power of your words and thoughts, 
which is a key aspect of fifth dimensional living. Remember, affirmations aren't about denying reality or pretending everything is perfect. They're about choosing to focus on the positive, on your potential, on what you want to create in your life. They're about aligning your energy with higher vibrations and opening yourself up to new possibilities. So why not give it a try? Choose an affirmation that resonates with you and start incorporating it into your daily routine. You might be surprised at how this simple practice can shift your energy and open you up to new experiences and opportunities. Are you ready to explore our final fifth dimensional habit? Let's move on. We've come to our fifth and final fifth dimensional habit, energy centering. This practice might be new to you, but it's a powerful tool for raising your vibration and connecting with higher energies. So, what exactly is energy centering? Energy centering is all about bringing your awareness to the core of your being and aligning yourself with the energy of the earth and the cosmos. It's a way of grounding yourself in the present moment while also connecting to something larger than yourself. This practice helps you balance and harmonize your energy, which is crucial for living in a fifth dimensional way. You see, in our busy modern lives, we often get disconnected from our own energy centers. We might feel scattered, ungrounded, or out of balance. Energy centering helps us reconnect with our own inner power and with the energies around us. It's like finding your own internal compass and aligning it with the greater energies of the universe. Now you might be wondering, how does this connect to fifth dimensional living? Well, in the fifth dimension, we understand that everything is energy and that we're all connected to a greater energetic field. Energy centering helps us tap into this understanding on a practical level. It helps us feel and work with energy in a conscious way, which is a key aspect of fifth dimensional consciousness. So how do we practice energy centering? Here's a simple exercise to get you started. Find a comfortable place to sit or stand. Make sure your spine is straight, but not rigid. Take a few deep breaths to relax and center yourself. Imagine a bright golden light at the center of your chest. This is your heart center a powerful energy point in your body. As you breathe in, imagine this light growing brighter and expanding. As you breathe out, imagine roots growing from the base of your spine, down through your legs, and deep into the earth. Feel yourself grounding and connecting with the earth's energy. Now imagine a beam of light extending from the top of your head up into the sky connecting you with cosmic energy. Take a few moments to feel the energy flowing through you, up from the earth, through your body, and connecting with the cosmos above. Feel yourself as a channel for this energy, perfectly balanced between earth and sky. Stay with this feeling for a few minutes breathing deeply and feeling centered and aligned. As you practice energy centering regularly, you might start to notice some changes. You might feel more grounded and stable in your daily life. You might find it easier to stay calm in stressful situations. You might even start to feel more in tune with your intuition and inner guidance. These are all signs that you're raising your vibration and aligning more closely with fifth dimensional energies. You're becoming more aware of the energy within and around you, and you're learning to work with it in a conscious way. This is a key aspect of fifth dimensional living, understanding that we're not separate from the energy around us, 
but an integral part of it. Energy centering can be especially powerful when combined with the other habits we've discussed. For example, you might start your day with mindful breathing, then do some energy centering, followed by your gratitude practice and affirmations. This combination can really help to align your energy and set a positive tone for your day. Remember, energy centering isn't about achieving some perfect state of balance. It's about continually returning to your center, reconnecting with your inner power, and aligning yourself with the greater energies around you. It's a practice, something you can return to again and again throughout your day. So why not give it a try? Take a few minutes to practice energy centering. Notice how it makes you feel. You might be surprised at how this simple practice can help you feel more grounded, balanced, and connected to the world around you. We've journeyed through five powerful fifth dimensional habits. Mindful breathing, gratitude practice, visualization, positive affirmations, and energy centering. Each of these practices offers a unique way to raise your vibration and connect with higher energies. Together, they form a powerful toolkit for living in a more fifth dimensional way. Remember, these practices aren't about achieving perfection or completely transforming your life overnight. They're about making small, consistent shifts in your energy and awareness. It's these small shifts, practiced regularly, that can lead to profound changes over time. As you incorporate these habits into your daily life, you might start to notice some changes. You might feel more peaceful, more centered. You might find yourself naturally more positive and optimistic. You might even start to notice synchronicities or opportunities that you hadn't seen before. These are all signs that you're raising your vibration and aligning more closely with fifth dimensional energies. You're expanding your awareness, becoming more conscious of the energy within and around you. You're learning to co-create your reality in a more intentional way. Remember, living in a fifth dimensional way isn't about escaping your current reality. It's about bringing higher awareness and energy into your everyday life. It's about seeing the interconnectedness of all things and understanding your role as a conscious creator in this interconnected web. So I encourage you to experiment with these habits. Try them out. See how they feel. Maybe start with just one or two that resonate with you the most. As you practice, pay attention to how you feel, how your energy shifts. Be patient with yourself and remember that any practice, no matter how small, is a step in the right direction. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of fifth dimensional habits. Remember, you have the power to raise your vibration and connect with higher energies. It's all about making the choice, moment by moment, to align yourself with these higher vibrations. Here's to your journey of growth, awareness, and higher living.